Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. The, the annual exhibition, we tried to work it out actually, didn't we? Because we weren't sure. Yes. And we think this is the seventh, so we think it's seven years okay. that we've been doing your annual exhibition. That's we amazing, did, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, Every year, it seems to come, that people sort of. I, I see a lot of familiar faces, but I, you also see a lot of different faces. So, is do you see a sort of fair amount of new people coming each year? Yes, every year we have the lovely people who come quite regularly, don't we? Yeah, yeah. And then we have new people as well, because every year more new people discover you on Facebook, don't they? Um, and especially this year, because you were on the one show and yeah. on Country Farm, yeah. there's a couple of people here today have mentioned that they saw you on yeah, that. Yeah. Uh, and so, as he gets more new followers to his Facebook page, so we get some more new people that come along to the exhibition, don't we? Yeah. Obviously, lots of the people who follow your Facebook page uh, don't come from an area that is okay for them to be able to travel here, you know, not within sort of a, a, a reasonably travelling distance. But um, there are quite a few who do, and so we get some new people who come every year, and that's yeah, always yeah. nice. And sometimes you get people who want to have their picture taken with you, don't yeah. we? Uh, and lots of people who want you to sign their books, because they're quite yeah. excited. So yeah, so we have an interesting mix, really, of people who have been before, and people who we know, uh, and lots and lots of new people, and people who haven't seen Oliver before, and haven't seen his work. But each time we have an exhibition, we do, we do try to make sure that the contents of the images that are on display at the exhibition are mostly pictures that have been taken, just new pictures, pictures that have been taken during the previous 12 months. Because for people who come every year, they don't want to see the same pictures every year. So we do have a lot of new pictures every year, don't yeah, we, do, yeah. to see, so that people who, are, who have maybe been the year before will still be interested and um, enjoy seeing new images when they come along to your exhibition, yeah. don't we? Mike, tell me about how Ollie's work is kind of evolving. Evolving. I think actually you're looking much more at the technical side of it now. You're starting to ask a lot more questions about um, how a picture works um, and some of the rules of composition, which were a sort of natural thing that he took on in the early days. He's starting to think more about actually how that works. So it's a bit more. Um, I suppose grown up in his photography, for want of a better expression. As I say, he takes more effort towards looking at how things are composed and how elements within a picture change, don't they? Yeah. Um, so that's that's something, but he, he thinks a little bit more technically now, um, and which is a natural thing, which is great for him to come up with those things rather than me trying to push you a little bit. So. Yeah, have no idea. Oliver's website is more and more. Um, it's used more and more and there are orders literally coming in almost daily now to his website from all over the world, aren't they? Yeah. Where did we post to the other day? I think just on Thursday there was Belgium, Belgium Germany, Switzerland. Switzerland and Louisiana, yeah. Nebraska and just you know, literally all over the world, which is just amazing. So that keeps us busy. Every morning oh, we yes. say, Mum, where are the orders? Oh, orders? Likes to know where they're from. She likes to read, you sit and read the addresses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She likes to know, where's it, where, who is yeah. it? Where are they from? Yeah, yeah. Like to know where they're coming from. So we send orders out um, yeah. every day and then we have to sort out the prints or wrap up the books and you have to do your yeah, sign yeah, yeah. the books and sort out everything. So, so keep, you keep us busy. We do. Keep busy, don't we? Because Oliver's yeah. book this that was published this year, Oliver's Birds, by ACC um, Art Books, the publishers, because it's done so well, uh, they have um, commissioned Oliver, Oliver now has a contract to do, what's the book called we're doing next well, year? Oliver's Britain, so that's going to be the sort of follow-on from Oliver's Birds, so next year, in 2020, um, we're going to, they are going to publish Oliver's Britain and we are putting that together at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. Choosing all the pictures and putting together little um, quotes and texts and things to go with the images. The, the ones you like best and which yeah. your favourite ones and why and the information about where they were taken and all that yeah, sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So we're doing that at the moment uh, and then we also have um, a letter of interest from them about possibly the year after doing Oliver's America. So that's quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, another company called, a publishing company called Orphans, who are interested in doing Oliver's 
a biography of Oliver. It's a book about your life. The lovely ladies in Wales who are going to produce yeah. a book for you all about you. Yeah. We keep saying it's not all about you, but actually it's all about you. Yeah, yes. Yes. And it sort of needs to be from your point of view, doesn't it, as well yeah. as mine. So we've got to, we've done a little bit of interviewing with Simon, haven't you? We've yeah, got yeah, some yeah. quotes from that. And then you and I are going to sit and look at some of the things that are already written, aren't we? Yeah. And we're going to go through that together so that you can make sure that we get some of your thoughts and some of the things yeah. that you want to say in the book as well. So that's yeah. happening this year as well. What does your sister mean to you? She's all well, else. She's, she always challenged me when I was young. What's in the uh, me was growing up in the clothes and we always had clothes that fit their right. So that was um challenging. Always made sure you looked cool. Yeah. So I used to wear things that mum didn't want to wear. So uh mum keeps saying he's not wearing that. So I used to wear things that were not white on me. So from from there I just felt better. Because you always talk about your sister, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you love so much about her? She's my world. She's, she always looks up to me and thinks that I have a good eye and I think we've got better and better. My dream is to, to work and my wife's, my wife's different to where she sees me. Sometimes when we grow up together, with wheels, we always think about what's best. I'm just going from there, really. What does, what does Ollie mean to you? I'm very proud of him. I'm very proud of him. <laughs> um, but he gives sort of me a sense of achievement as well. I, sort of, I was eight when he was born, so I took extreme responsibility of making sure that he was always cool. I was worried that mum wouldn't make him look cool. <laughs> so I always made sure he yeah, had cool did. clothes. Yeah. And I always made sure that he liked cool stuff. So we made sure that he liked skateboarding. I did, yeah. And then we made sure that he liked cars. I did, yeah. Um, and I always try to make sure <laughs> that you've got everything that you need and that you always look smart. And we like to go out for the day together, don't we? Yeah, we do, so we yeah. like to spend time together. Oliver always makes me laugh. <laughs> he do always make me laugh, don't I you? I do. And what else do we do when we go out for the day? We like to go to places for a walk. Walks, and yeah. And we like to go places. You like to take pictures. I do, yeah. Um, and I'm in charge of taking selfies. Yeah. That's that's my yeah. that's my responsibility. Is, yeah. I'm in charge of taking the selfies. Yeah, yeah. You say selfies. Yeah. And then we have a we have a picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I started the trend of your cap collection. You did, yeah. I started you off with hats. You did. And now you've got outfits. <laughs> <laughs> and what about Oliver's photography? How's that changing as the years go by? You know, when he first started, it was just sort of a bit of fun and a bit of a hobby. Um, and then we started realising that actually you were very good. Um, you know a lot more about, I don't even know how his camera works. I don't. On the odd occasion he asks me to take a picture of something, he needs to instruct which buttons I need to press. Because <laughs> it's too complicated for me. Um, but I've probably got far too many pictures up in my house that he's taken. But every single picture I just enjoy seeing what he has seen everywhere he's been um, and all of the ones I have up at home it just every time I see them it reminds me of something that he's seen and that he's enjoyed and I get enjoyment from knowing that he's seen something that's me meant something to you so then that means something to me as well and my favorite pictures are always of trees I've got a lot of tree pictures at home and my favorites yeah and you once took me a picture, he took me a picture of some cherry blossoms once. I did. Because they were pink and he knew that pink was my favourite colour. So I've got a canvas of that at home as well. And I've got a mouse mat of it at work on my desk. Haven't I? Yep. You gave that to me for Christmas. I did. So I have that at work every day. And there's a possibility, isn't there, of getting back abroad to America. What would that mean to be able to take Oliver away again? <gasps> that would be so cool, wouldn't it? You are desperate, aren't you, to yes. get back to America. And one of the reasons you particularly want to go back to America is so that you can see... Ken. Ken. You would love to see Ken Jenkins again. 
wouldn't you? That would be really special for you. So we would particularly like to do that. Um, but also, we because we went when we went to Tennessee, it was in the autumn, wasn't it? The fall, yes. as they call it over there. And all the leaves were beautiful colours, weren't they? Yes. Um, so this time we'd like to go at a different time of year, wouldn't yeah. we? Yeah, so yeah. that we can see sort of the spring flowers and yeah, yeah, yeah. all lovely and lush and green. And so we'd like to get landscape pictures that look very different oh, yeah. to the last ones yeah. that you got because it'll be a different time of year. So we, we would be so excited to do that. Yeah. It would mean such a lot to you, wouldn't it? And it'd be lovely to... I think he's got... You've got a really big following, a very loyal um, and bountiful following, haven't you, in America? Lots, hundreds of people love you over there, don't they? Yeah. And they order prints and books and things like that. So it'd be really nice to get over to America again uh, so that you can maybe... Because last time we went, we met some of your... Fans, we did, we? yeah. yeah oh, TJ. Yeah, met, you like TJ, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that would be really cool to be able to maybe do that again. When I was younger, I had a steady hand camera, which was, which was my first love affair with. And then I came away thinking I wanted his camera. So then I had his camera for a while. He was on Zoom, which was, he went down the stream, and then that was my first camera and then after that I came away thinking that was my first camera I ever had and then after that I became aware about taking them as not about the picture side but about printing them and that was my, my dream to become his idol which was me so I was you like to watch me doing my editing yeah. don't you so I've I done was, a little bit of editing with yeah. your images you don't so do was, a lot of editing no. but but when I look at his now, I do it again. I never thought he would be my idol. You know, he's here and I've got him, he loves me and I love him and we have that chemistry that never came between us really. We have that heart and soul. We never cry or love. We always <laughs> love each other, so I think he's... We have good fun, don't we? Yeah, so he's my first dad and my last one went to York and never came back. So this one is better. Because he was my first dad and and now everything is better. So my wife's right, my wife's better with him and yeah. I'm just got on like a house on fire. But now we're That's because we like the same things, isn't it? Yeah. We like going out and being in the woods and yeah. in the wild and looking at the animals. Mm -hmm. So now when I'm with him he knows what I'm looking at and my eyes different to his and what he sings in when he sees things I look at him and I think, wow, that's amazing. I still come back from photo shoots with you and think, yeah. why didn't I see that? Yeah. Regularly, even now. Even now, yeah. Mm -hmm. When he says I'm a pillar or a menace, <laughs> when he says I'm not, but, but sometimes we watch iPads, don't we, in bedtime. We watch like Graham Norton You, you and like and to watch stuff. little bits of film on iPads. And uh, when he says goodnight, when I say grandma, so we do that a lot. So random questions like grandma, wedding, stuff like that really. Rubbish. Rubbish. Yeah, but yeah, rubbish. <laughs>